finally got to cover my first game of the year. That and more on this episode of 98 Baseball Talk with your host, me, Josh, the 98 Know-It-All. Hey guys, it is Monday, February 17th. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, what a big weekend for me personally. I got to cover my first college baseball games of 2020. It was raining. It was sunshine. There was a rainbow. There was more rain, more sunshine. Ton of fun. Loved being out there. Actually, in a couple hours, I'll be out of the field again covering the softball team. Just every opportunity to get out there. I mean, let's be honest. Being at the field is a chance to relax. It's just... I don't know, it's just a peaceful place. Even when the game is crazy and, and stuff is going on, it's still a, a peaceful place, and I love being out the field. A lot of fun. Before we jump into that, guys, take a minute. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps out. Like the video. And please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. We actually had three brand new Patreon supporters join uh, in the last 24 hours. It means a big deal. It actually helps, one, with me being able to create these videos and keep going. It helps me to get to games all across the Northwest. And it actually helps to cover the costs of some of the projects and things I'm working on. Uh, right now, you guys have maybe have seen in the previous videos me talking about doing documentaries. Now, they're not going to be high quality. My camera stuff isn't designed for video very well. And, but I want to create documentaries about baseball in the Northwest. I want to do stuff on JUCO baseball. I just want to have fun and, and put out content that is baseball related and just you know promoting the game that's what the goal is it's what the goal has always been for 90 know it all so guys think about being a patreon supporter there is a link down in the description below it does help out whether it's a dollar two dollars three dollars a month or more like five or ten every little bit helps it makes a big difference so guys let's jump into what happened this weekend like i said got to cover lower columbia versus chemeketa just a practice game um practice or not it's still fun to watch guys face off against each other, to hear the sound of, of bat and the ball, the glove and the mitt. It just, oh, I love the noises. I love the surrounding. It's fun to walk into the dugouts, to know the coaches, to know players, uh, to talk with them. It's just, I don't know, like I said, it, it's a fun, relaxing, peaceful place for me. I uh, just, I love being at the field. You know, I, I prefer warmer weather. I'm not a cold weather person, especially doing photography. My fingers start to get cold and tighten up and it hurts a little bit, but it's early on, still February. I got to go watch games, so can't complain too much. But you know what? There was more going on this weekend. College baseball division one was, was really kicking off this weekend. Uh, we saw highlights from, from Michigan out there. Uh, Louisville game was, was, a, was an amazing highlight reel of stuff. Just a lot of fun stuff going on. I love being able to turn on uh, my phone and just check highlights from all across the nation, being able to see all that's going on. It's been a lot of fun. I love it. You know, it's fun to be able to talk about the positive things of baseball. I mean, if you guys know, the last few weeks have been just just digging a hole deeper and deeper with, with negative things with the Astros. Uh, even this weekend, we had more stuff come out. Carlos Correa, who I've said just a couple days ago, who I, I respected for how he responded to the uh, the the questions and the press conferences and stuff like that. And and I lost all respect for him now because of his idea of attacking other players in the league who are mad about them cheating um, because they called guys out. And he just, he lost all credibility with me. He did. And it's sad because he was really the last Astros player who I was still clinging on to and, and excited to follow and support, even though, yes, he, he cheated. He came out and he had really the only sincere apology that I thought uh, based on the players. But now, you know, th that's over. That's done. He's, I know, not, not a guy I'm going to cheer for. Not a guy I'm going to support. And then Rob Manfred comes out and does uh, his interview. And that just made things worse. Made things a hundred times worse. He pretty much said that he didn't want to punish the players because, um, Everybody knowing they cheated is punishment enough. And no, it's not. No, it's not. You know, this is, I mean, look at Joe Jackson. I mean, he, Shoeless Joe, he's still, in essence, being punished long after he's passed away. Uh, Pete Rose, who, once again, different, different scenario, different situation. 
but he's still being punished. There, I don't get it. I, I think cheating is the worst form of of act you can do in a game of baseball. And the fact that no players were punished and that the owner comes out and makes his stupid statements, the players making their stupid statements and trying to cover it up, it just gets worse for them. But you guys, I'm sure you guys all heard about this weekend. I didn't do any videos on Saturday or Sunday. I kind of did one yesterday and ended up just shutting it down because it was on my camera, on my phone. Didn't look very good. Don't think you can hear me very good. So I just didn't do much this weekend other than go to the games. And I'm glad the games are going on because it gives me a chance to focus on the positive. Gives me a chance to focus on the things I want to do and accomplish with 98 Know It All. So I, I'm excited. I'm loving it. I'm loving that college baseball is here. That college softball is here. I, I'm excited that spring training is here. It just keeps me going. It keeps me having fun. You know, I'm, I'm loving it. And... No, it just, you guys know, this is my passion. This is what I do for fun. This is my hobby slash job. Keeps me busy, so keeps me going. So guys, it is President's Day. Nothing really going on too much today. Like I said, I'm going over to photograph uh, Lower Columbia's softball team. They're playing on the turf at David Story Field today, so I'm going to do that. Keeps me busy. The weather outside, although it's a little chilly, it's blue sky blue sky that's that's the dream that's the dream to have blue sky and, and some uh, baseball and softball to go watch so you guys go out there I, wherever you live in the country there's going to be college baseball somewhere in your area most likely unless you live way out in, in no man's land but there's college baseball going on all across the nation go watch some games go support your local team you know it's fun i've said it before and i had a video come out College baseball is the best level of baseball there is across the country, hands down. You can't debate that with me. Yes, the talent may not be major league talent, but the passion, the excitement, the closeness to the field, the interaction, it makes it the best. Hands down, the best level of, of baseball all across the nation. So guys, go out there, enjoy some games, watch some softball too, and just enjoy what we have. So guys, I'm Josh, the Nine Know It All, signing off, and I'm sure I will see you guys tomorrow. Catch you later.